What up guys? Today I want to share with you something that I've learned about working out, about fitness in the last four years since I left uh, Six Pack Shortcuts and left YouTube. I used to work out to be about getting big and being about looking good. And over the last four years, I spent a lot of time thinking about what else can I do with my workouts? You know, and what do I find important about my body? And I realized that while it's cool to look big and it's cool to look good, you can take off your shirt and be happy and not be worried. But what I found more important is the way I feel. If I feel really good, then if I look good, that's great. But if I don't look the best, it's still okay because I feel good. And when I mean I feel good, this is like, um, it's just kind of interesting because when I used to think about feeling, I used to think about it in my head. Like someone would ask me, how are you feeling? I'd be like, oh, I'm feeling good. I mean, let me tell you the reasons why I'm feeling good. But in reality, <laughs> the way we feel isn't listed in our mind. It's a sensation that's in the body. And I remember not being able to actually feel a lot in my body. And see, I'm not talking about like not feeling muscles, not feeling contractions, you know? I was really good at that. What I'm talking about is feelings and emotions. Like, am I feeling happy? Am I feeling joyful? Am I feeling stressed? Am I feeling bothered? You know, am I feeling enthusiastic? Am I feeling concerned? You know, these type of emotional feelings. And I find that if I have good emotional feelings, then everything is good. But if I don't, I can look the best I've ever looked, but I ain't, I, I'm not enjoying myself. Doesn't matter where I'm at or what I'm doing. I'm just not enjoying myself. I'm sharing this message with you guys today because just like me, there's many people out there that don't really pay attention much to their emotions, but they think that emotions just really aren't that important. I'm just gonna just leave it on the side. If I look good, I'm gonna, you know, my emotions will be good, but that's not true. It's, it's, it's far from the truth because I looked good for years and years and it had nothing to do with the way I felt and my emotions. And ultimately, if we look at the deep-rooted re reasons on why we want to look good, ultimately, after we start to peel back the layers of the onion, we will get down to the root cause. And the root cause behind almost every single thing that we do is to feel good. I wanna make sure that while we are training to make our bodies look good, to be healthy, that we don't forget that what's even more important is the way our emotions feel. When we're going through life and we get stressed from some type of event or situation, while we get stressed in our mind, we also get stressed here in our body. And what our body naturally does is it tenses up when it gets stressed. And we may hold our breath, we may tighten up our stomach, we may tighten up our shoulders, clench our jaw and all this other stuff. And so what happens is the stress, this uncomfortable feeling that we're experiencing, we actually hold on to it in our body. And then if we don't ever let it go, because we don't really think about the way we feel a lot, then over time it accumulates. And so now the way we feel naturally can't reach a certain heightened level because we got so much stress piled on top of it. So now the best we can feel is maybe just a low level of stress. That becomes our normal feeling. So to get rid of this, one of the easiest ways is to go ahead and start loosening up the body. We gotta relax the body. We gotta get the body to be calm. So some easy ways to do it is start to stretch after every workout. Start to stretch even if you don't get your workout in or you don't work out, it's a stretch anyways. You know, and the stretches don't matter. I mean, there's so many different stretches. I can go ahead and show you a whole bunch, but I'm not gonna do it in this video. I'll have other videos posted on that. This video is really just to tell you the importance of why you need to do it and just start doing something. And when you start doing that, you're able to start releasing that tension. And another one is start doing some self-massage. You know, this is something I've learned in the last four years. Self-massage is not, you don't have to do any special techniques. One I do is just simply tapping. You just tap on your body, different parts of your body, you know, just start tapping on it. And it's not, and the amount of pressure is really up to you, but Tap softly in the beginning. In certain areas, it might be a little tender. You tap a little softer, but that's gonna start to help release the tension. And then when we start to release the tension, we start to release the stress, our body can start feeling better. 
and then you'll start to see that your mood, your emotions will start to change. And that's the most important thing. So hope this video helps. Got more coming soon. Talk to you guys later.